done, baby. This is not gonna work. This is not gonna work. She was a dog before, but no, she believes that she is a goat. No way. You got rid the part. The situation is the next one. It is gonna rain. The chickens know it, the dogs know it, the goats know it, everybody knows that it's gonna rain. But the thing is, what time is it gonna start raining? And we have discovered a method, it's more like a theory, that usually works. When the wind is coming from that direction, that is the north, it is gonna be Bahareke. Bahareke is just a kind of drizzle, it's, it's not rain. But when the wind is coming from there, that is the south, it's gonna downpour. And right now, it is coming from there. The wind is coming from there, or all, the, all the clouds are moving from the north to the south. And if we do the maths, a puppy plus a goat plus a chicken plus the angle of the mountain, it is gonna rain. But it's gonna be around 1 p.m. So. I still have some time to do some progress. And the first thing that I need to do is put that thing back in her place. All right, it's time to go to plan B. This thing is not gonna work. I was just, I was, attaching the corners of this tarp and then all of a sudden a big gust of wind came just stronger than this and it took the pole out of the hole that thing had almost two feet buried underground and it just lifted up and boom that was it this is not gonna work this is not gonna work I'm not gonna invest my time on this thing right now I'm just gonna go to plan B plan A was do that and put it concrete once I have that done. Put another tarp that I have there over that one so I will have leaks. But come on, it's not gonna work. And the plan B is a flowers and fruit trees garden. When I see you, my heart starts racing, but I don't know if I like this chasing and playing and waiting around. It's a shame that my hands start shaking all of the time when you're around me. But this time, this time, girl, I know what's bothering me. People usually go shopping and they go to these big plazas with all these big and huge bags loaded. When I go shopping, I get a wheelbarrow with a bunch of plants. Gracias. Every single time that I pass through this road to go up to the farm, I have seen this place with all these beautiful and amazing plants so colorful and when i got the idea of building a garden i immediately thought about coming to this place so i just got a bunch of plants no i can build my garden what when i left from here just like one hour ago it was so cloudy i know that i'm back it's so beautiful it's very sunny what who's playing with the weather Now that I got all these plants, I just need to find the right spot to plant all of them.
I see it is Melison. Let's make some concrete. <music> This is Mocha. She was a dog before, but no, she believes that she is a goat and she likes to eat corn. Good boy! Driving this road down is pretty sketchy. You feel the adrenaline a little bit, you're scared that the car is gonna flip, it's gonna just tip over or something. But we made it all the way down. We have this thing here, and we gotta make concrete. Man, this thing is looking so nice, look. This was just the first load, and with the first load, we made it to cover around the 75% of the whole structure. We are missing that corner there, and I think with half of one load, we will be able to make that one. I feel this one was the fastest one that we have done. So we're just getting ready for the second load, so we may have that thing ready for today. Boy, this is oh, uh, this is scary. I don't want to break this car. Yeah, boy, we made it. I think I didn't sleep that good last night. I can barely move this arm. It really hurts, but I don't care. I'm building a house, pain, it's physically, but I can control it with my mind. I think so, I hope so. You know, every time that I feel the wind, I just remind about my tarp house, my circus tent, my circus tarp house, that 
is resting in peace now. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna lay down here for 20 minutes next to the sand, cement, concrete mixer, under the car. I don't know, I, I just have this chilly vibes today. I just wanna chill. I think she likes that idea. Right, Bo? Lola. <sighs> All right, that's it. Let's work. The last few weeks, it has been pretty stressful for me. Starting with the rain struggling in the building. Then I built a tarp house that didn't work. And today I was making concrete for pouring more concrete in the foundations. And I realized I just ran out of gas. So I decided just to come down to my jungle, lay in the hammock, yeah, like four hours. And think about it. I came to the solution to just go slow, don't, don't overthink stuff. That's one of the golden rules that Jordan have to teach me. You never overthink the stuff because you're gonna end doing the things not in the right way. So I'm just gonna, you know, go with the stream, continue with my garden. That's one of the projects, that's one of the, those little projects that really have me excited for. Because it's, it's something simple that makes you get a lot of like happiness and like enjoyment while you're doing it. I really love gardening. a proud dad of my little plants I got just half of a garden I'm, I'm trying to build like a like a walking path with these plants at the sides and I'm gonna build like kind of some stairs in the middle but that's gonna be later but I got this look I get all of this done I'm excited now that I see this little thing I'm more convinced of all the things that I want to do down here in my jungle. I have all that space that I can use to do 
a lot of other stuff and I'm planning to do more stuff in that area. I was thinking in going out for dinner tonight, but I just didn't remember that we are in lockdown. Yes, we are back in the quarantine, lockdown, curfew, slash everybody's losing their job, and this is not helping. But anyway, instead of going out, I decided I wanted to eat something homemade, and I'm making arepas. And you may be wondering, hey, how do you know to make arepas? Arepas are not a common food from Panama. Yes, you're right. Um, the arepas are a traditional food from Venezuela. but this is a story. A few years ago, I was living in David, and I met this girl. She was beautiful. We dated for a while. Um, she ended up being my girlfriend for almost one year, maybe a little more. And she and her family, they did teach me how to make arepas. And that's how I know how to make arepas. Yeah, I haven't been single my whole life. Welcome back to the show, making concrete for foundations of my house. Today we have two guests. One is Enrique and the other one is Alberto that is bringing water. And today, the first time in a while, we have gas. I may have a relation of hate and love with that sound. This is a historical moment. We just finished the last piece for the seismic beams. That was it. That was the last little piece that we had to finish to finally can say that we have the seismic beams all done, baby. That was it. Alright, that was it. Thank you so much. Love you and bye.